What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question I get asked probably more often than anything on my channel is how do I make my molds? So I'm going to show you how to go from original part to mold to carbon fiber part. Now the part we're going to be making a mold of is this little piece right here, which is the flap on the under tray. Where is it? So there's the GT350 under tray. Uh, we're going to be making a mold of that. There's a GT350 lip. Um, but this gives you access to the uh, oil filter up in here. So if we turn that into carbon, you know, we obviously have to make a little carbon uh, lid as well. So I figured knocking out this little piece first uh, would be a good step. Now the very first thing we have to do, I already wiped it off with acetone really well to get all the oil and grease and just everything off of it. You can see how the surface has these little like casting indents on it. Um, you can see how like the edge, I guess just from like the, the plastic factory piece kind of has this weird little stuff hanging off of it. So even though it's a very small piece, I'm gonna have to sand this down, get all that junk off the edge, and we're gonna have to coat this before we do anything else. And we're gonna wipe it off with acetone. All right, so at this point, we're ready to coat it. All right, so I'll show you this real quick. You can see how there still is uh, some texture, some sanding marks. Now we're not overly concerned about that. Uh, one, because when we pull the mold off of it, uh, we're gonna polish the mold surface anyways. Two, it's an oil flap trap door that goes on the under tray of a car. Uh, I think it might almost be a little bit odd if it was like too perfectly smooth or shiny i hope that kind of makes sense but you know if you were doing something like a uh like a hood or a body panel yeah you would want to spend quite a bit more time polishing uh your plug to a very nice mirror finish uh but again given the situation of this part uh this is kind of acceptable where we're at all right guys so here is what we're going to use as our flange uh, because this part is effectively flat, we're just going to put it down on the aluminum. Now, a quick tip with using aluminum and a hot glue gun. Hot glue doesn't like to stick to aluminum, uh, so we put some tape down. So that way the hot glue will stick to the tape, but the tape sticks down to the aluminum much nicer. So what we're going to do is just kind of run some hot glue on the underside of this, uh, stick it down, and then get claying. All right, so at this point, uh, we got to start claying the gap to seal everything off. I'll put a link to this stuff in the video description below. But a handful of little plastic tools with some like radiuses or some edges kind of make claying a little bit easier. All right, so what I like to do is make a uh, little string of it like this. And we'll just kind of start pushing it in. All right, so I'm just gonna do this as an example real quick. We don't want too sharp of a corner here. All 
but you have to take the clay off at least back to the edge. So that way you'll have a small mark of the edge of the part, but it's not too sharp of a corner, which will be a little bit trickier uh, to lay up. All right, so we just got done claying it, and you can kind of see how we just filleted the edge, uh, so that way there's no negative draft angles um, or nothing can get under it. So we're looking good there. At this point, we're gonna wax it with this stuff right here, this part all paste number two. <clears throat> like other things in the video, uh, link to this will be in the description below. So at this point, uh, we're just gonna wax the whole thing uh, three, four, maybe five times. I'm not gonna record any of that because it's just wax on, wax off at this point. All right, so you can't tell anything, but the mold is waxed and ready to go. So at this point, we're gonna do gel coat. So yeah, that's about it. We're gonna get it mixed up and brushed on. All right guys, so we got a decent coat uh, of gel coat brushed on. Um, a little hard to get smooth around the edges because it was lifting off of the clay. Um, but if we use our little depth gauge, um, looks like we just touched 30. So yeah, we know, we know we're about uh, 30 to 40 mils across most of it. The flange might be a little thinner. Let's see. Oh no, I still hit 28. 30 again. Yeah, so we got about 30 mils roughly even across the whole thing. So um, we're gonna let it sit for about an hour and a half and then fiberglass. All right, so gel coat uh, set up to where it's just a little bit tacky. A few funny things happened. You can see how we kind of got like some holes or whatever. The clay, for whatever reason, the gel coat was kind of separating off of the clay. Um, and it's really funny in certain areas. And I'll see if I can get the light behind it. The gel coat lifted right through here. You can see how I can kind of push on it. But the part itself feels good. Um, and the flange feels good. We're gonna have a little bit of a weird area. Um, not part of the part, if that makes sense. Um, so we're just gonna keep going. We're kind of kind of see what we get out of it. Uh, but I'm not feeling super great about this mold. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to demold this and we're gonna see what we get. Oh, oh. Cause it came off the aluminum easy enough. Oh, yeah. that part probably came off in it, yeah. Ooh, I can already see it. Yeah. Odd. Oh, yep. All right, so the Duratec, I guess didn't have the greatest adhesion to this cause it's some sort of plastic. Uh, but as you can see, it does kind of come off easy enough. All right, guys, so as you can see, I cleaned it up pretty good. Um, not the prettiest mold by any shot. You can see the part of the mold that makes the part is actually pretty good. We got a nice kind of defined line little bit rough around the transition but who cares because that, that's not part of the final part so at this point you know we just we'll, we'll trim off any of the the rough edge stuff we will probably give it a real quick uh clean up so yeah like i mentioned it's not the prettiest mold by any stretch um we were doing a few things new to us um one was the primer we put on whatever this is it feels like it's some sort of I don't know, almost like a nylon or something, which stuff just doesn't really stick to, which is why the primer stayed on the mold versus here. But you saw me scrape it off, it wasn't too terrible, honestly. Um, the other thing we tried doing, uh, if you notice, we did this mold without any PVA. It was a little bit of a test to see if we can get away from uh, having to use PVA. 
but the mold again not the prettiest it is usable so we're gonna go ahead and kind of finish up the mold all right so we're gonna start uh polishing this real quick and you can see in the light there's like one little little chunk right there so what we're gonna do flatten that out and okay it's already gone but you can see the mold's nice and flat there's a tiny bit of haze this is 600 grit um i honestly think uh we're just gonna start with a thousand because we don't need this piece to be like a mirror shine um but a thousand just to kind of polish it up real quick and then we'll hit it with some compound and should be good to start our release steps all right so we got it all uh sanded with thousand grit looks nice and flat All right, so after one hit, you can see how we're pretty good. Uh, such a big polisher is a little bit hard to get in the corners, um, so we'll get the small buffer, um, or even maybe hit them by hand, but this is looking good. All right, so our mold is prepped with chemical release. Uh, I didn't record that because it's literally just, you know, wipe on, wipe off, but use your release coat uh, however you want. We have our materials cut, so we're gonna do a quick layup on this and make a part. All right, so let's give this thing a try. It just slides in there like that. Holds down and the hole lines up perfect. All right, like that. So there you go. All right, guys, so there you go. That's where we're gonna wrap up this little oil filter door project. Uh, like I mentioned in the start of the video, uh, probably the number one question I get asked on my channel is how do I make my molds? Now this mold isn't perfect around the edge. If you remember earlier in the video, we knew we were getting like some lifting on the edge for whatever the reason was. Uh, but what makes the part, as you can see, you know, turn, turns out a perfect part. All right, so that's where we're gonna wrap this one up. Hope you guys learned something. Please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.